Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 11 wins with seven losses. Standing five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 206 pounds, fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, Kazuhiro Kaznaka. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of four wins with two losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 204 pounds. Fighting out of Temecula, California, the African Assassin, Soka And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Steve Mazagati. Nakamura trains with Japanese gold medalist Hidehiko Yoshida in judo, as was mentioned by Joe. Sokaju, a second degree black belt in judo. Right, bring it on, come on. Two stocky judo guys who are very well rounded and set to compete. Red trunks for Sokaju, blue trunks for Nakamura. If Nakamura stands in front of Sokaju, don't blink. But Sokaju is explosive. Right knee taped up on Sokaju, just for a little extra support. Training sometimes can be more dangerous than the fight itself. Sokaju, it took him 23 seconds with that big left hand knockout over Noguera, and then that uppercut right knockout against Ricardo Arona in less than two minutes. So Joe points out, do not blink. That was a beautiful right leg kick he just landed. And there's a left. And, and again, again, got the hips into that down. one. Body kick. Good Nakamura knees. took a punch right there. Nakamura can take a lot of punches, though, as we saw in that fight against Machida. And again, he mixes it up. So could you, just standing, stalking, and again, I set like it how up. He's setting up those body kicks. Nakamura comes forward. He's stepping into those, Joe, those, those body kicks as you described, and again, setting it up with the hands. Yeah, he's setting it up with the left hand, then he throws the right kick afterwards. And that will chop down the legs of Kaz Nakamura over time. Or he may fake. See if he follows with a head kick. Nakamura is standing in front of him much more than Machida was. And it gives him an opportunity to load up and, and attack. Good Superman punch. And then the follow-up with the knee. So could you look sharp so far? What was frustrating for So could you in the Machida fight is that Machida is so elusive. Nakamura is basically standing right in front of him. Machida has such an unorthodox style. He's been elusive to everybody he's fought, Joe, and he's frustrated a lot of great fighters. So could you, one of the most recent. Let's see if he can frustrate Tito Ortiz tonight. Yeah, exactly, it will. Nice Good knee game. by Nakamura. Nakamura tried to throw the elbow earlier, too. And Nakamura has been in there with some furious strikers, been in there with Vanderlei Silva. Got to, ooh, he landed a nice right hand on Sokaju there. Just past the midway point of round number one. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Nakamura on the blue trunks, coming forward looking for the body shot. See if Nakamura becomes a little more active. He was just sitting back early and waiting for Sokaju to lead. And he does come forward. Mike, nice. I, I wonder what the injury is that is forcing Sokaju to take up that knee like that. He hadn't thrown a right kick for a while. He just threw one there. But uh, I wonder if that's something significant or if it's just to brace it. Well, he started out throwing kick after kick after kick, Joe, and it was working, and as you said, he went away from it. Well, it looked like he slipped in one of the exchanges with Nakamura. It looks like he slipped, and since then, he's only thrown one kick. I mean, it, the, the way it is taped, it looks like it's taped almost as a knee brace for support. And that means he tweaked something. And he's gone away from what was working very well, leading with the hands, 
And he's not moving back as well either. Not at all. I mean, it could be he's just looking for an opening, just try to set something up. There he goes, he threw it again. That's been his go-to so far here in round number one. Right hand, Nakamura trying to change levels on more than one occasion. A couple of times with a jab, that time with the right hand. Loves to come forward with that left hook. Sokaju has seen it coming, though. 30 seconds remains in round one. Nakamura is a guy that looks like he could easily make 185 pounds. And he's talked about it. Sokaju, on the other hand, looks almost like a heavyweight. Nakamura feels the UFC's light heavyweight division has the best fighters in the world, and that's why he wanted to take this chance against Sokaju. Put his name in, uh, if you will, the same sentence as some of the top points in the game today. He's got hit hard, and he is saved by the bell. He got rocked. But Nakamura will move to round two. His leg is just beat up, Joe. This might be it. Yeah. Everything to his corner. He might be done. And his corner's saying, sit down. Let's he keep going. He got caught with the right hand. It looks like he fell on his knee as he went down, Mike. Let's take a look at that again. He got caught with that right hand. It's like he fell with his knee trapped <laughs> under him. But we can see that one more time. It's all over. That's it. It is all over. His leg is buckled. Sokaju wins for the first time here in the UFC. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I believe when he got hit with the right hand and dropped, his knee tucked underneath him and, and he, he uh, injured it. No problem. Break, 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 break. Break. Sokaju continued to punish the left leg of Nakamura. Boom! First the kick, then the big right hand. And even though the bell rang, this would signify what would truly be the end of the fight. So could you, again. And he followed it up nicely. And you see the right leg, you see the leg buckle. Kaz Nakamura as he went down, it was the right leg that buckled. And thus he was unable to continue. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Steve Mazzagatti has called a stop to this contest after the first round, declaring the winner by TKO, the African Assassin, Sokka Jew.